issue of the uh, economics of it. Dahil meron nga po tayong mga mayayamang at libreng alternatibo sa buong range ng renewable energy. Samantala kung nuclear energy, wala naman po tayong native deposits ng uranium, plutonium at iba pa. Lahat po yan na i-import ng ating bansa. Thank you, Mr. Thank you. Salamat ka, Mr. President. And just to be clear, I did not mean to cut off uh, the lady from Panay. Yes, Mr. Um, I just wanted the timeline, Mr. President, yes, because yes, I also I have understand. an important speech to deliver. Thank you. Thank you. Salamat kaayo, yes, Mr. President. In fact, uh, upon standing here, I was going to uh, manifest that following on some of the points earlier raised uh, by the minority leader, and also with the advice of the majority leader in the interest of time, I was simply going to convert my questions into a brief manifestation uh, out of appreciation for the... Uh, privileged speech of the gentle lady, also from Panay Island. So for the record, uh, Mr. President, uh, briefly, I appreciate very much, um, gentle lady from Panay, the emphasis that you and Senator Cynthia Villar gave to the planting and maintaining of uh, the mangroves. And in fact, I am about to refile my bill from the previous Congress on a coastal green belt program. Nang ibig sabihin lamang po, Mr. President, ay yung pagtatanim or pagmimintina ng isang 100 meter thick na bakawan, yung mga tamang species ng bakawan sa bawat coastal area sa buong archipelago natin para nga maproteksyonan yung mga coastal areas natin laban sa mga storm surges. And lastly, in my brief uh, manifestation, Mr. President, gentle lady from Panay, gusto ko lang i-follow up just one step forward, at least tatlo dun sa maraming importanting issue ni Race, uh, ni Senator Legarda, tungkol dun sa posibilidad, uh, hindi man ng uh, rehabilitation ng Bataan Nuclear Power Plant, kundi yung pagkonsidera ng paglunsad ng isang nuclear energy program. The gentle lady from Panay mentioned the issue of safety standards. And I think it will be interesting once talakayin itong privileged speech sa uh, relevant committee, i-review na at in their time, yung mga nuclear power plants na nagkaroon ng aksidente sa Three Mile Island, sa Chernobyl, at sa Fukushima, were the top of the line. And were observing ostensibly the highest safety standards, and yet, nagkaroon ng ganong klaseng mga aksidente. Pangalawa, Mr. President, Senator Legarda brought up the issue of um, uh, adaptation. No, no, no. Also about nuclear energy, uh, Mr. Mr. President, the issue of the uh, economics of it. Dahil meron nga po tayong mga mayayamang at libreng alternatibo sa buong range ng renewable energy, samantala kung nuclear energy, wala naman po tayong native deposits ng uranium, plutonium, at iba pa. Lahat po yan na i-import ng ating bansa. Opo, napakamahal. And last but not the least for this afternoon, Mr. President, binanggit po, hmm, binanggit po ni Senator Legarda yung usapin ng nuclear waste disposal. Hmm. Dahil hanggang ngayon po, Wala pa rin pong mapatunayan yung mga siyentipiko na epektibong paraan at ligtas na istor na walang panganib ng leakage ng mga nuclear waste. Nuclear waste that, as Senator Legarda pointed out, magdi-deteriorate sa mga half-lives nila, depende sa chemical, over hundreds or even thousands of years. Lampas pa po sa buhay nating mga tao. So just that manifestation, Mr. President, for the record, bilang paghakbang dun sa privileged speech ni Senator Legarda at para posibleng magamit po natin sa committee hearings. Uh, mabuhay, Senator Legarda. Dagan salamat, Mr. President. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Today is the International Day for the Conservation of Mangroves. Mr. President, what a timely interpolation as well. Thank you. And... Uh, I, I, I yield now to, uh, of course, the Majority Leader. I thank all of the interpolators. Thank you very thank much, you. Majority Leader. Thank you, Mr. President. We cannot agree more. And uh, at this juncture, Mr. President, I move that the uh, 
privileged speech of uh, Senator uh, Lauren Ligarda, the manifestation and interpolations of our dear colleagues, be referred to the Committee on Environment and Natural Resources and Climate Change, and secondarily to the Committee on Economic Affairs. I so move, Mr. President. I'd just like to put on record that uh, in my many years in the Senate, and I've experienced with Senator Ligarda and Senator Cayetano, they always open Congress with speeches on the environment and health. So they're spot on, uh, on their advocacies. So congratulations to the ladies. Yes, uh, Majority Leader, who is our next in line? Yes, I move that we, uh, from the previous question, Mr. President, uh, to refer the uh, speech. And yes, the, uh, uh, there, there being no objection, the speech of the lady senator from Antique and Panay, we refer to the Committee on Health. Uh, committee, Mr. President, on uh, oh, sorry, Committee on Environment, environment and, natural and Natural Resources, and Climate Change, and secondary to the Committee on Economic Affairs. My apologies. Thank you. I'm Thank jumping you. the gun on Senator Cayetano's uh, speech. Thank you, Mr. President. And Mr. Economic President, Affairs. Yes, Mr. President, at this juncture, uh, uh, Senator Pia Cayetano, the distinguished lady from uh, Taguig, has requested that she be allowed to take the floor uh, on a matter of personal and uh, collective, collective privilege. I move that we uh, recognize Senator Pia Cayetano. So the distinguished uh, lady senator from the uh, city of Taguig is, and Metro Manila is recognized. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, that, that phrase in everything we do. Kaya nga, ang ating, kasing, ang ating posturing is we are a small contributor to this uh, concept of climate change when we talk about carbon emissions. But, Konektado ba yung pagtatapon ng plastic nga sa na, na number three tayo sa buong mundo? Opo. Does that contribute na also to, ka, to this climate change that we're talking about? Opo. Uh, Dahil po, uh, saan ba galing po ang plastic? Di ba galing po sa fossil fuel? The, yun, yun yun po uh, to create the plastic. How about this time the, the, the disposal of the plastic is in, a, in an irresponsible manner? Yes. Una po, how do we create the plastics? Di ba po? Galing din sa fossil fuel. Now, how do we dispose of the plastics, single-use plastics. Mr. President, we have a law that is already 21 years old. That is Republic Act 9003. And the Ecological Solid Waste Management Law mandates the segregation of waste at source, recycling, and composting. And so we must not throw not just single-use plastics, but any solid and, of course, even human waste into the wayside because this must be segregated and only the residual waste must be collected and thrown in environmentally engineered sanitary landfills, while food waste must go to uh, organic compost pits and bote lata plastic must be segregated and can be put in material recovery facilities which can be recycled. Sabi nga po nila, may pera sa basura. At meron pong mga LGUs, even barangays that gain from this. Example, Barangay Holy Spirit, nakailang award Quezon, na po sila Quezon sa City Quezon, Quezon City. City yes. In Quezon City, uh, maraming mga barangay ang gaganda, kababaihan ng mga proyekto na nakikinabang po sa pagresikulo ng mga plastic at ng bote. And this is all connected. I think, um, name me an industry and hahanapin natin ang koneksyon Tama, correct, sa ating correct, correct. kapaligiran at sa correct. ating pagbabago po ng klima. Kaya po, kaya nga po, uh, tama po yan. That's why I would like to congratulate the speaker for uh, shepherding the passage of the Paris Agreement Treaty. I was once upon a time chairman of the Foreign Relations. Yes, hindi pala, sir. Hindi pala madali magpasad din ng treaty dito sa Senado. <laughs> mahirap, hirap yun. Kaya congratulations. And of course, that other law mentioned by... Uh, uh, Sponsored, authored and sponsored by Senator Villar. Kasi nga, Senator Cynthia Villar. This time pala, when we mention Senator Villar, we have to, ano, no? We have to uh, distinguish. Uh, how do they want to be distinguished? May, may we know? <laughs> by saying their first well, name. Uh, by saying the first name. <laughs> so, Senat, by Senator Cynthia Villar, yung uh, ex, ex, extended producer's uh, responsibility on plastic. So, nakita po natin konektado lahat. Kasi nga, lahat nga ng kilos natin ay uh, makaka-apekto ng uh, klima. Is this, uh, sabi niyo po sa speech kasi we should heed the call of science. Is this uh, already established science? That it is human behavior which caused uh, climate change? Uh, yes, Mr. President, that's contained 
in the IPCC report, the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change Report, the Sixth Assessment Report, and even previous reports of the IPCC. As you know, the IPCC is a body that is composed of scientists from all over the world, and in fact, uh, a handful of scientists are Filipinos from UP Los Banos. And, um, some of them have been uh, my consultants from previous uh, yeah. senates way back, uh, but more than 10 years ago, yes. But uh, do we agree, uh, Mr. President, that uh, some scientists uh, dispute this? Is that correct, Mr. Uh, President? Uh, Mr. President, by now, I don't think any scientists would dispute it because, uh, as I said, the IPCC report said that uh, the costs of climate change uh, relating to human action is based on science and unequivocal. They use the word unequivocal. But of course, we cannot deny the fact that there are scientists, politicians, persons, groups who may think otherwise and may lobby against the science that leads to the causes of climate change. Um, there was, I don't want to mention his name, an elected U.S. president <laughs> who did not believe too much on, on the climate. Yes, uh, so uh, I hope he never goes back to. Anyway, so, so, okay. <laughs> so. Mr. President, so there are non-believers. Okay. Uh, I'm not about to, to give them time on this yes, okay. uh, platform, Mr. President, but all I can say is that coming for a, from a vulnerable nation like the Philippines, having gone through Yolanda and Ondoy and Sendong and Pablo and Odette, we see firsthand, sabi nga ni Senator Bong Revilla, ang mas nakakaramdam ng epekto ng pagbabago ng klima ay ang mga mahihirap. Yung nakatira sa tabing ilog at tabing dagat o nakatira sa mga tuktok ng bundok, nakikita natin ang epekto. Correct. Ano ang dapat gawin? Adaptation. Maybe in a subsequent speech, I can talk about easy to do everyday climate adaptation measures that we can adopt, uh, which we can, we can adopt the adaptation measures na pang araw-araw po natin kayang gawin. Tama po yan. I, I agree, Mr.